What's up guys, Grim here. If you left a comment in the weekend video I did like three weeks ago, I'm sorry it took this long to do the actual giveaway, but if you had actually left a comment in that video, and I can't even quote the video, you are in the giveaway for a 30 day patron pass, and the winner of that is right up there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we'll be sending the code to you just shortly in your YouTube inbox, so make sure to check that out. So, uh, we'll go ahead and give away another 30-day patron pass since uh, you guys have been waiting so long. So, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video down there. And go ahead and leave your character name and server. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and punch that like button. So... Today we're going to talk about what classes should you be playing, well, which specs should you be playing in PvP because a lot of people are always playing the wrong things in PvP and they need to be playing something else and uh, we're going to actually uh, clear up some of the air so that you guys know exactly what you should be playing and if you're playing anything else besides these particular specs then you're basically just having fun with it. and. Uh, there are uh, different things that you can run in PvP and be effective. Now, I'm not saying that if you're not running these particular specs that you're not going to be effective. You can go in there and dominate and top kills with a spec that I don't mention. But that's you playing the class very well. And uh, if you're wanting to give yourself the most advantage that you can get, you want to play these particular specs in PvP that I'm going to be mentioning. Now, uh, there should be things that should be said before I mention any of this in that if you're wanting to play a tank class in PvP, that's your prerogative. I mean, it's it's a whole different category in itself and uh, some of you guys find it very effective to play tank classes or else put uh, tank points into your specs. So I'm not going to mention those. Uh, they have their own place such as stone running or... Uh, uh, flag capturing guarding and stuff like that so I'm not going to mention tank classes another thing that I'm not going to mention is the healing classes because there is lots of different ways that you can go with healing and all of them have their own ways of doing things such as you know a purifier can be very good at putting on shields and stuff like that whereas a sentinel can be good at burst healing and stuff like that so uh, yeah, and then you have the AOE healing. I mean, to even say that you should play one over the other is really not giving uh, the whole story. But yet, whenever you get to damaging classes, the story is more linear. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over the things that you should be playing whenever you're playing PvP. Okay, so now that we've gotten all that out of the way, um, there are specific war fronts that you need to be playing certain specs for so i'll go ahead and mention them too because uh you don't want to run like range specs in a blighted antechamber or something you can do effectively uh, effective damage with uh range classes don't get me wrong so get this out of the way to where a lot of you guys go hey i play pyromancer in a uh, blighted antechamber and i do very well Yes, I know that you can do well, but you will do the best that you could do with something else. Okay, so, alright. So let's go ahead and mention Blighted Antichamber since I've already mentioned it. Okay, so uh, if you're playing a Cleric class, you want to be running Shaman in Blighted. Now, uh, like I said, I'm not mentioning like healing souls or anything like that because a lot of times you do want to run healing, especially if you don't have other healers. But if you're going to run a damaging class, melee is what you want to be in the Blighted Antichamber. So Shaman for Cleric, you got Paragon for Warrior, uh, Assassin Nightblade uh, for Rogue. Now you can pick which one, you can mix the two, whatever, just play melee in blighted antechamber also you got harbinger for mage uh like i said not to say that you can't do well with a pyromancer build but if you get opened up on by a experienced assassin you're just not going to be able to survive it whereas we'll, uh, you will be able to survive it most likely as a harbinger and they will be able to open up on you in the blighted antechamber uh for primalist it's a little bit of a 
I don't know. They really don't have that great of melee right now. Uh, the new souls are going to be coming out soon, so things may be changing. There's a soul pack that's going to be coming out for uh, Primalist specifically, so this is made before any of that. So right now, all I can say is maybe Dervish, maybe. I mean, you really don't have very good options as a Primalist, so... Uh, pick whatever you want to. I guess you can run Vulcanist if you want to. Uh, it is a range class and you're going to be absolutely abused in the Blighted Antichamber. But what other options do you have at this point? Okay, so uh, the other map that really should be uh, mentioned as in what you should play different than the normal stuff is Carthen Ridge Domination Map. You know, the one where you have the five flags and you're trying to capture them all and stuff like that. Well, stealth classes just absolutely rule that. So naturally, Assassin is what you want to be if you're a rogue in that particular warfront if you're if you're playing a rogue in that warfront and you are not an assassin you are hindering your team uh, because the assassins being able to stealth between all the flags and capture them all you're you're you might be able to top kills as a marksman or something else but yeah if you're playing an assassin it's going to completely win the game uh, if the opposing team is not running assassins and capping flags like you are. Okay, so now we get to the general specs that you should be playing in PvP. Uh, and it's pretty much all ranged right now. Sad to say, until they change things around, ranged is the dominant thing in PvP. So whenever you're playing a warrior, you want to be running Reaver. Now, uh, Reaver is played more of a support class these days uh but it can absolutely you know of course it's going to do high damage with all the dots and the dots spreading but uh where it really seems to shine is hindering the healing of the opposing team uh but it is going to do decent uh, re well really good damage uh the burst damage isn't going to be as good as it should be because it's been nerfed i mean you you just don't get uh the good stuff going with it anymore but uh, Reaver is what you want to play. You could play Tempest if you want to as a warrior, but Tempest is not as strong as it should be. It's it, If you're playing Tempest, you're kind of hindering yourself, but it's a range class. It has decent damage. You can play it and be effective, and the main thing is to keep ranged. Okay, so if you're playing a mage, you want to be Pyromancer. I mean, 90% of the time or more, you want to be a Pyromancer. It, I mean, my character here is a Pyromancer. Uh, I'm playing it specifically because of how overpowered it is in Warfront right now. Um, if you want to play something else, the other 10% of the time, play Dominator. Dominator is very effective in Warfronts. Uh, the mana draining, the energy draining, the... Uh, squirreling of people I mean it's just very very effective so if you want to play something else play uh, Dominator don't play like uh, Harbinger or anything in normal Warfronts that's not usually what you want to play if you play a melee class uh, melee spec in Warfronts these days that's not the previous Warfronts I mentioned you're just trying to have fun and you're not playing it to the most effective way that you could be playing it Okay, so if you're a rogue, Marksman. Marksman all the way. Marksman is the most dominant spec uh, for uh, rogue right now. And a lot of people debate that it is the most powerful spec overall in Warfronts. I think it's Pyromancer, but a lot of people believe that Marksman is the way to go. Uh, so if you're running a rogue, Marksman, uh, you know, if you're wanting to heal, of course you go Physician or something else. But we're not talking about healing, we're talking about damage right now. Okay, so if you're a cleric, Inquisitor. Inquisitor all the way. Don't play anything else. Inquisitor's been buffed up time and time again, and it's so strong. I mean, the healing of it got nerfed some, but Inquisitor is still 100% of the way to go for a cleric whenever you're doing damage in normal warfronts. Uh, if you play Shaman or something, you're just 
I mean, you're going to need a pocket healer. You're going to have to have uh, a lot of focus on you. Whereas as an Inquisitor, you can be independent. You can blow people up with all the burst abilities. And you have dots, debuffs. I mean, all these good things. Uh, buff stripping. I mean, Inquisitor is 100% the way to go in normal Warfronts. Um, as far as a Primalist, probably Vulcanus is the way to go. Vulcanus is very strong in certain aspects. Uh, it has the best burst in the game right now with uh, the ethereal beam. It just eats right through re resistances and all that stuff. So if you're playing a Primalist, you most likely want to play a Vulcanist until the new specs come out. Whenever the new souls come out for Primalist, I mean, right now they're on test server. So if you're actually watching this video after the new souls have already came out for Primalist, I mean some of the other ones may be better but right now i'm going to tell you that Vulcanus is the way to go because at the release of this video it is the way to go so these are the specs that you need to be running in warfronts if you're running anything else just do it for fun uh, but if you want the maximum effectiveness in warfronts these are the damaging souls that you want to play all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit the thumbs up button uh, don't hit the thumbs down button just because I didn't mention the spec that you actually like to play because like I said if you want to play something else you're doing it just for fun um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video as usual my name is Grim and I'll see you next time